the comment is, I'm trying my best to find God, but it's like I'm not hearing him anymore. I'm praying fast and I have faith. I just don't understand why I can't hear him. I'm so glad you asked this question. Well, I'm glad that you're praying because prayers are very powerful. But prayers, especially with faith, because just trusting, trusting that it's going to be done, not necessarily what you've asked, but what is right for you. What is the right thing for you, which may be very different from what you've asked, but having faith in God and trusting that you're going to be okay regardless, even if things feel like they're falling apart. But to get to the understanding why you can't hear him, peace, how do you hear God? You hear God by getting silent within yourself. Yeah. And how do you get silent within yourself? You sit quietly, turn everything off, everything off, close your eyes and just breathe. And at first you're going to hear your monkey mind, the mindless chatter. You're going to think of everything that you don't want to think of. You're going to think of what did I do today? What did I eat today? What should I cook today? The laundry needs to be done. Oh my God, I can't believe he said, he said this. Oh my God, I need to move this out of this. Everything, all your to-do list, everything is going to go through your mind. That's called monkey brain. And that's fine. That's normal. No matter how long you meditate for, we all struggle with monkey mind because that's part of human, the human experience. But the longer you sit quietly without judging yourself for having that monkey mind and just focusing on your breathing, you know, use a guided meditation to help you, but then sit quietly with yourself and just see what's coming up. The voice of God is never going to be a one of judgment and condemnation. Even when we are being told and we're being redirected and we're being, you know, it's always gentle. God is a gentle, loving parent that doesn't sit here and, and criticize us. That's our own internal voice, our own internal childhood, whatever, right? But God's voice is always the soft, quiet, strong, encouraging honest and it's going to sound like your voice and that's what we get confused about because we think we're making it up you're not making it up and if you are making it up what's the difference anyways like neil donald walsh says what's the difference whether it's you or your god because again nothing happens nothing happens without god's will 